Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, we're gonna today. I'm just gonna show you my version of the uh, homemade air conditioner, if you will. Uh, and I'm calling it a scrubber because if you'll see the stack, we're pulling the hot air out of the head level of the room where you are at six feet, uh, approximately. This is up at five feet, so it's pulling all the air out above us as we're sitting, and it's injecting cold air into the room, thereby bringing the cold air up much faster to make you feel cooler much faster. Uh, and that was one of the things that I wanted. Also, the stack by putting a nylon stocking over it. Um, you have an air filtration, which now I, that's why I call it the AC scrubber. Uh, because you're going to scrub the whole, the air in that small space uh, that you're in, whether it be a van or a, a little um, a trailer like I'm building. That's what this project was for. The parameters I wanted to reach was 30 watts or less, total energy draw. Um, being able to run with just water, not ice, and still get a cooling factor of 10 to 15 degrees in case I didn't have ice. And then uh, um, also to, for the ice to last a long time, that was another factor. Also to keep the cost down, this whole project's about $60 if you exclude the cooler. Uh, find your cooler at a yard sale again. But all the components you see here is about $60 less the uh, Blue Sea Systems bus, uh, fuse bus. Uh, so uh, that was another thing. I wanted it cheap and durable and good products. And so that's what we put together here. And the duct work, uh, that semi-rigid um, ducting is very easy to do. You can stretch that out all the way up to 10 feet or you can keep it down, lay it flat if you just want to uh, cool a certain level of the room quickly. Uh, I think it's perfect just the way it is, three feet off the top of the cooler. Uh, it's perfect for cooling the room quick. It just seems to work very well this way. That way you're not just trying to push cold, you're actually uh, creating a high and low in the room and the cold air that you're pumping out will rise and thereby make you feel cooler faster. So anyway, um, and it also puts out quite a punch. Um, so let's do that. Uh, this is uh, where we'll be running it. You can see it's not very loud, um, but if you can see that over there, how it's just uh, blowing right out. That's a big heavy receipt too. So it stretches way out. This thing will blow about, oh you feel effective cooling at about uh, 10 feet away, 12 feet, something like that. And obviously we can turn it up twice as powerful as that. Right now we're moving 120 cubic feet a minute. Okay, let's go look into it. Uh, let's turn it off. Let's go look into what we've got here. Um, uh, you could probably see that before. Uh, this is your motor controller switch. And what we're running in there for a motor, okay, is this, okay? The Magic Fly DC30A, it's a 12 volt DC motor. And it's 10 watts and it moves like 200 liters a minute, something like that, or an hour. So it comes out to about Oh, I forget, but anyway, it's a good little motor. If I were to do the finished product, this is just my prototype, and it actually works, so I'm leaving it. But get the dough cooler, 10 watt, 12-volt uh, DC pump, um, rated for 30,000 hours. This, this will also pump oil, so if you want to, you can actually create an internal cooler and a heat transfer inside, heat exchanger, and use oil and you're going to get better cooling factors as well so but that's up to you I'm not going that intense I wanted something really simple and also something I could put my sodas in or or my water or whatever and cool it down right so uh, I didn't want to be running an oil cooler inside and and all of that I wasn't that and it, besides that I found 20 to 25 degree drops uh, this thing is so effective uh, which was really nice and we'll show that demo that in a minute um, so I think we've covered everything uh, let's go over here and that's a, this is a motor controller uh, in case you don't know this is by Droke go on Amazon it's six bucks I think uh, their products are fantastic and that's the other thing I can cool this way down if I don't want noise I can set this real low if I don't mind a little bit of noise I can turn it way up or you know what I mean and that's the nice thing about this and also this scrubs the space in my trailer it will scrub the entire little camp trailer I'm building in three to four minutes so I'm not going to be running this all day that's the beauty of this system I won't have to run it all day I will run it for about five minutes and shut it down 
and thereby that's saving your ice. You're scrubbing the entire room much faster, plus you're getting filtration, right? So this is, um, let's go to the next product. I've shown you the pumps. So this is just a little CPU radiator, right? Uh, get it on Amazon, uh, AGP Tech, or GP Tech, or whatever they are. Um, and there's your numbers, Amazon, right? Uh, cheap 10 bucks, I think. Uh, the next thing we want to show you, uh, the next thing in, that we have in there is this blower, okay? It's a 240 cubic feet per minute rule inline blower. Um, great products, tried and true. People love them on boats, and that's why I got it. It's made to pump out bilge rooms and fuel rooms, so it, it can handle... Uh, a lot of different uh, atmospheric problems so and it will handle heat as well so the rule inline blower okay well sorry there you go and 240 cubic feet a minute uh, people rave about their products online okay so the next thing we got is our flexi semi flexible uh, um, whew, man I'm sorry Duct work, <laughs> semi-flex duct, and uh, you can get this anywhere, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, your local hardware store, everybody carries this, uh, and it holds its shape, so you can bend this in any shape that you want, this ducting, okay, you can bend this in any shape that you want, you can stretch it to get high, eight to nine feet high in the air, or you can keep it low at head level, which is where I want it, and since we're on a table, then we're on the cooler, and we're this, this duct work, the end of it is at five feet is where we're scrubbing the air, and that's perfect for what I need, okay? So I didn't need to expand it at all, nor do I want to. I just want to keep it like that. And it all breaks down very quickly. You can see that's one clamp. It's off. The uh, As you can see, the radiator is just tie-wrapped on. So I just slip this over the radiator. The radiator can come off. I can disassemble the whole thing and put it back together in five minutes. Uh, it's quite simple. Um, and the pump just sits inside like any other little uh, unit and uh, so let's do some thermal demos uh, and see what we can uh, come up with here uh, but remember the beauty of this is we're scrubbing the entire room okay at 120 cubic feet a minute we're creating high and low pressures thereby your cold air is rising much faster which will give you the overall cooling effect much faster uh, if you want to sit in front of this, you can and run it at a low speed if you're watching TV and it's going to give you direct cooling effect. But I think cooling the entire room is what we're trying to aim for when we talk about these small air conditioners. And trying to push air at the same level we're pushing air out, trying to draw air at the same level we're pushing air out, does not create a high and low pressure and you create forces fighting against each other. So uh, by relieving that pressure of the high on top, you're creating, uh, your cold air can rise up. Anyway, let's go over it and do some thermals. Okay, we're going to get... Okay, we got 70 degrees in the room. Okay, let's turn our little pump on. Trying to check time here. Okay, so we're going to do this fast. And you also want to put rubber stuff, washers in there, some foam when you put all this together. And that'll cut your noise way down as well. Uh, we've been running at about, uh, what, 15 seconds. 48 degrees. 22 degree drop in 15 seconds. If I continue to let it run, um, obviously it'll get up around 25 degrees drop. And that you're not just dropping pushing out cold air again you're scrubbing the entire room and that's why I'm shutting it down it's winter in Maine and I'm not going to continue to cool my my room when it's 10 degrees outside so anyway I just wanted to share all this with you um, again you'll get 20 to 30 degree drop in temperature uh, if you really want to perfect it and insulate your tubing and all of that stuff uh, raise your water level and put ice in there uh, which I didn't I'm just using uh, a few frozen 16 ounce water bottles that's it that's all that's in there with one gallon of water that's it so you can enhance this too uh, but uh, you know without uh, any ice or frozen bottles or anything you're still gonna get a 10 to 15 degree drop in temperature just with water isn't that nice so I hope uh, you've all enjoyed this um, 
And remember, if the women don't find you handsome, at least let them find you handy. That's uh, the uh, Red Green used to say that, and I used to love that show. I can't find it anymore, but man, didn't I love that show. But uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it. This is just uh, Jim's idea, of, and it met the needs for I want. Low energy draw, fast scrub of a room, air filtration at the same time that I'm cooling the air, low ice draw, very small cooler, as you can see. Oh, I didn't show you that. Uh, see how small this cooler is? There's my hand. Okay? This cooler is not much bigger than my hand. All right? So add this on. It's about 10 inches by about 14 inches. That was the other thing I wanted. Small, compact, not taking up a big, hideous amount of my room or sitting in the middle of my floor. I can put this on a shelf somewhere and cool the entire space. So, or on a table or in a corner or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, post your comments. Give me some more ideas if you have some input on how to better this uh, product. Uh, a friend of mine's thinking of making an exhaust portion to this too to actually uh, pressurize the other side. But uh, I didn't want to get into that right now. I just wanted to keep it simple. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you're all doing well and uh, have a good one.